Well, you know where, if I was going on holidays, I'd like to go, go? is to the Gold Coast because Ooh, obviously yeah. the best beaches, mm -hmm. the lifestyle mm -hmm. is very good too. There's a great Italian restaurant called Jamelli there too that I recommend. And you know what else they've now got? What have they got? An artificial reef. They do. It is a world first and the Gold Coast Mayor, Tom Tate, joins us now to discuss it. Mayor, good morning. You went for a dive yesterday. How does it look? Mate, it's, it's like a, um, one of those wonderlands that you see all the wonderful uh, uh, surprises, the marine life. Uh, <laughs> gropers, size of uh, four foot tall. And um, so it all, it's all happened. It's a theme park underwater, I'd say. <laughs> I mean, I reckon this is such a cool idea. I don't imagine it was easy to create, Tom. No, it, it took a lot of uh, imagination, but, uh, and also it's scientifically, you know, we, we have to make sure that if we've got big seas, all those uh, infrastructure uh, remain, remains intact so that we don't start all over again. So each one of those flute, there's nine of them, they're about 50 tonnes each. But, uh, you know, as you'll see, you can be able to swim through it. Uh, it is theming with uh, marine life. I'm so pleased with it. I have to say that, uh, you know, in, in my political life and similar to Carl, we find ourselves uh, knee deep most of the times in, in, in things. <laughs> but yesterday I was happy to be uh, deep underwater and I think it's probably the deepest ribbon cutting anywhere in the world at uh, 15 metres down. Yeah, knee deep in a very different kind of thing, Tom. Mm. Look, what's the expectation when it comes to what this will bring to the Gold Coast and to Queensland and Australia? Mm. Uh, each, each year we're expecting uh, 16,000 people to be uh, arriving to, to, to look at it. And, and the good, thing, good part about it, it's only 20 minutes on the boat at the end of the spit to the dive site. So the turnover will be wonderful. And it's different levels of, um, of diving too. There's, uh, mm. For beginners, you can go down to 10 metres as a platform there, or you can go all the way down to 30 metres uh, for advanced divers. So something for everyone. And to all the southerners out there who are freezing on the Gold Coast, <laughs> yeah, we're about 23 degrees, but that's in the water. <laughs> oh, stop it. I mean, and I just want to ask, I mean, and so you're feeling OK with stealing all this business from the Great Barrier Reef, Tom? Mm. <laughs> oh, no, I think uh, the idea is that uh, we share the love and, uh, you know, you go down here and, and when you want to go to the big things, you go to the Great Barrier Reef, but it takes you a bit longer time to get there, so... This is a, a great mm. appetiser. And Tom, how is business going on the Goldie? We know things have been tough right around Australia, particularly when it comes to finding staff. Is, is that something impacting your area as well? It, it really is. We miss those international students who um, do a lot of hospitality work, even they go uh, cherry picking and all that sort of stuff. And, um, and you know, the border's now open. Uh, we're marketing for international students to come here and those part-time jobs really help especially in high season. And how so long do you expect that will take to, 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 to fill those positions? Uh, I, I think it, we're talking about six months or all, all, all the um, all the courses has now open uh, they all they're coming in now the we get about 35,000 students pre-COVID uh, a year so we're up to about 20,000 so um, you know from from a, a minimal base uh, it's coming good, but uh, uh, it'll be a different market. I mean, of course, China is locked down, so we'll be inviting uh, people from other regions, even the UK, after they've finished their Jubilee celebration. Pack up, boys and girls, and come over here. Well, Mayor, congratulations on the reef. It looks fantastic, and hopefully with that teeming marine wildlife, we'll see many people flock to the Gold Coast and Australia as well. Thanks for your time this morning.